Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of Can Flood, with no arms, drive vehicles or use turrets in Halo 3 ODST? So, Halo 3 ODST is the first time, the first Halo game since Halo 2, where the Flood could drive vehicles. Because if you remember in Halo 3, Flood cannot drive vehicles, they could just board vehicles. So, since the Flood have the ability to have their arms shot off, I've been asked what happens if you shoot their arms off while they're driving. Can they still drive vehicles? So I briefly covered this in uh, my video where when the Flood was first introduced in ODST. And indeed I did show that the Flood can drive vehicles while they have no arms. At least they could drive a ghost when they have no arms. But I did not really go in depth in that video. There's actually a little bit more to this than just being able to drive vehicles. But the answer to the first question is, yes, the Flood in Halo 3 ODST can in fact drive vehicles with no arms. I mean, by, by default, it looks like they do need to use their arms to drive, like you can see the Flood here holding the, um, the control sticks in a ghost. But here, the Flood has no arms, and yet is still able to drive the ghost just fine. It's, it doesn't even make sense, I, I know, but like, it doesn't even look like they're using anything to drive at all but they can still drive. But there's one other side effect that I did not know about before. And it turns out that once you shoot their arms off, while they can still drive, they cannot shoot anymore. They, uh, they, they just can't fire the turrets or, or anything, or the guns or anything on the ghost. And if you kick them out, they still have no arms and they will drop whatever weapon they had and then they'll run away and then they'll die. That is actually normal behavior with the Flood in Halo 3. Once you knock off their arms normally, you know, not in a vehicle or anything, just if you knock off both of their arms, they just start running away and then they explode and a flood infection form comes out of them, in, uh, in Halo 3 at least. And that's, that's normal. But once they're in a vehicle in Halo 3 ODST, they don't self-destruct like they normally would in regular gameplay. Instead, they just lose the ability to shoot, but they still drive and they can still drive around and they still stay alive forever until they get kicked out of the vehicle or or anything causes them to get out of the vehicle and then they revert back to their default behavior which is when they have no arms they just go running and then explode and that's it so here we are again it's actually pretty cool because like once you kick a flood with no arms out of the vehicle for a very brief second for a split second they will actually equip the weapon they had even though they had no arms <laughs> and then almost immediately after they will drop that weapon but uh, yeah, there's a there's definitely like a split second, like maybe like a couple frames where they are technically holding the weapon with no arms, and then they drop it, which then it makes sense. But under the hood, there's like a few moments where the flood, a no arm flood, is technically wielding weapons. Now, since I mentioned that once they have no arms, they can't shoot vehicle weapons like a ghost cannon or the ghost guns. What about like an actual turret? Because that is the second question in the video. Can they use turrets with no arms? Well, as you can see here, they can't. I shot off both arms of the uh, the Wraith Gunner, and then he, he immediately stopped shooting me with the uh, Wraith Cannon. And it's going to be the same with any vehicle. The the Warthog, I mean, no, the Warthog driver can't shoot. But I would bet that if the Flood ever actually honked the horn of the Warthog, then <laughs> without arms... The Flood won't be able to honk the horn anymore, but for some reason they could still drive the Warthog. I guess they're using their legs to steer on the steering wheel, maybe, but it, and it just doesn't make any sense that they could still drive. Uh, I mean, it makes sense that they can't shoot, because you know they don't have hands or arms anymore to fire the weapon to pull the triggers, or in this case, honk the horn. But, I mean, that part's realistic, but not, not the part of no arms. So... I don't know if this is technically considered a bug or not, but it's kind of funny that it is possible. Now, what about when they're boarding a vehicle? Well, if you shoot one arm off, the their melee arm, they'll actually still melee the ghost, and even though they have no arm there, they are still doing melee damage to the ghost and impacting the ghost, despite not having an arm. And if you shoot the other arm off while they're holding onto the ghost, then they'll actually jump off. They won't stay on a ghost with no arms. And if you shoot that arm off 
the the, uh, the holding arm before you shoot the other arm off, then the flood will immediately get off the ghost. It won't be to board the ghost anymore either. So that part is realistic. Also, if you were wondering, this did work in Halo 2 as well. In fact, it has the exact same behavior and effect in Halo 2 as it does in Halo 3 ODST. Well, actually, it should be the other way around. Halo 3 ODST has the exact same effect and behavior as Halo 2. And likewise, once you kick a, uh, a no-arm flood out of a ghost or a vehicle, they just explode. Although it's a little bit different in Halo 2. They don't go running away and then explode into an infection form. In Halo 2, they just like looks like he just slowly walked and then just went poof. But yeah, there you guys have it. That is the answer to whether Flood with no arms can drive vehicles or use turrets, which is, yes, they can drive vehicles, but no, they cannot use turrets. And that applies to every Halo main Halo game where the Flood can use vehicles. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. If you did, then as always, make sure to leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.